Hello, uh, so this is going to be uh, probably a shorter review uh, than usual, but I just want to talk real quick about Mission Impossible Fallout. Um, I saw this today. Uh, this is the first film in the Mission Impossible franchise that I have seen. Um, I, I heard people say that you can follow it okay, and I followed it okay. I'm sure there's a few things that I was missing. I saw it with my dad. He's seen all of the movies. Uh, and my thoughts on Mission Impossible, it was fun, it was enjoyable, it had very well done action scenes, it had a good sense of pacing, although it was a little long, but a, it, a very good editing, um, it was enjoyable. The story was not anything to get that excited about, it was uh, fairly basic, and, uh, and it has a reveal that is fairly predictable, but... What I liked about the movie was it was, it had really inventive set pieces. It felt like, almost like a video game, like something from Uncharted. Very, very well done. Uh, and the sound design was, of course, very good. Uh, and so I, th I, I said in my earlier video that I think this could very easily get uh, nominated for one or both of the sound categories of the Oscars, and I think that's definitely possible. Or if they want to go ahead with their best popular film category, then it could be nominated there as well. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It is a, cause I think you know this is not gonna be like a, that grand of a film. Uh, I've been talking for less than two minutes, and I think I've pretty much said everything I want to say. Uh, but. This is a movie that uh, you, you sort of know what you're going to get. You're going to get some really incredible stunts, and uh, and you're going to get some really incredible action set pieces, and not much in the way of story or character, but that's fine. And th it does have very good cinematography, and again, good music, and, and good tension. That's what really works in this movie. The tension is very, very well done. Uh... See, I will say, uh, like, the helicopter se sequence, which takes place near the end of the movie, that is, that that is amazing to watch. Uh, and you can see because of the way the camera is set up, in some of these shots, like the way the camera is set, you know it's mounted, it's fixed, and it feels a little bit different than the camera that's used in other sequences. So you know, but that's good because you know that they got the shot for real; they didn't fake it with CG. And uh, sometimes when you watch this movie, you go, you're going, okay, I think there might have been a little bit of CGI in there, because I don't think you really could have done that, or could they? Like, it's never entirely, you're not quite sure. And it's pretty rare in movies nowadays for you to not be sure if something's CGI or not. And I think it's always definitely more impressive when movies rely on practical effects rather than going to CGI. And from what I can tell, like, most of the CGI in this film was just removing the wires that were holding Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise does a good job in the lead role. He's a he's a great traditional action man, uh, regardless of what you think of his personal life. Um, and there's not really that much else to say. It's a, it's a good, enjoyable movie. You don't worry about having to see the other ones. Oh, also, I saw this in IMAX, and that is a good idea. You want to see this in IMAX, because it this is a movie that feels big and grand and larger than life, and you want to experience this on a big screen. So definitely check it out on IMAX. Uh, outside from that, it's an enjoyable movie that helped ruin Justice League. <laughs> we all heard those stories. And yeah, uh, so I'm literally just rambling this video, but I don't know what else to say about it. Sometimes in movies I have a lot to say and I have many, no many notes. And this one... I mean, it, it's going to sound bad that I don't have a lot to say about it, but really it's just, this is one it's best to experience. Uh, it's not like a phenomenal movie, but it's an enjoyable action movie that I think you're probably going to enjoy if, if you like those sort of things, because some people don't. And it's not, it's not like Mad Max Fury Road. It's not like a game changer action film. It's a fun action movie with very well-crafted scenes that might be a contender in some, uh, for some of the tech awards. So do with that information what you will, uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye.